went for a little bike ride just went along the river and it was so nice so busy i was like i don't need to get a drink because i always go to like this one cafe and it's pretty cheap and they're really good i caved i got a hot chocolate and some warmed carrot cake oh it's not very warm right now but anyway i'm gonna just sit here for a little bit and journal for the morning and then get my day started <laughs> It's for one unit, but still very proud of that. Um, and it's currently 11.40. So I'm gonna have a quick um, stretch break because I've just been sitting at a desk all day. And it's kind of cloudy, but I'm gonna go for a run this afternoon. So I'm gonna stretch, get my work done, go for a run, and have a half of dinner. Um, I'm not really filming what I'm doing just writing and doing portfolios so it's not very exciting I also applied I updated my portfolio though which somehow took me like six hours because I was making a lot in, on InDesign I hate using InDesign I reckon Canva is the boat I don't care if it's like less professional <laughs> it's just so much easier to like navigate and move things around anyway I also emailed three more companies in Victoria asking for work experience or an internship for the end of the year. So keen to hear back from them and I message them on social media and everything. So hopefully I hear this back from at least one of them. Um, but yes, that's kind of just the plan. I don't know why I look so red. I feel like I've been just flustered, so. <laughs> So like on top of my internship, I had to do literally, I just like submitted, I think six documents and I was writing them the entire day, the entire bloody day. It's currently 2.30, but I'm done. So I'm really glad I got that over with, but I literally was thinking that that would take me like an hour or two and I was doing that since... 9 a.m. Oh my god. I didn't even like do the stuff I wanted to do today. I need a break. My eyes hurt from staring at a laptop. It's kind of it's a bit cloudy, but I think I'm gonna go for a bike ride and or a run or just something to remove my body. Come back, do a little bit of yoga, and then get on to my next assignment. Oh my god. <laughs> it's literally my next assignment is due next week. Um, I'm not stressed about that one. I'm, due, I'm stressed about my Revit one, which is called Interior Systems. And if you ever do it, the first the first assignment's chill. The first assignment, even though I, I didn't go well, but technically it's chill. The second one is pretty much engineering and um, construction work. And we have to know we're all about how to like calculate luminums and be an electrician and then be a plumber and then be an engineer and she keeps saying you guys are never gonna have to do this don't worry but then we have to do it for the assignment so it's really confusing and hard but anyway i'm gonna do every other assignment except that so i can just leave that to the end and really really just focus on it but anyway i'm gonna go exercise uh i need to just go look at a tray or something for like 20 minutes Oh, my God. 
liking this painting this is legitimately probably the first painting I haven't hated or felt really embarrassed or I don't know I think with creative things I'm such a perfectionist because I feel like every everyone knows I'm creative and so every creative piece really reflects me even though it could just be an emotion I'm feeling and it doesn't really but does that make sense? I feel like every creative thing I do it has to be perfect because otherwise I'm not seen as creatively good enough in a way. Anyway, the point is that I like this painting and I'm really happy about it. But I've just been doing some drawings for some final presentations that I've got coming up and I'm trying to get everything done today. I've got class tomorrow and then I'm seeing a friend and then I'm going to go to the coast for a few days. So trying to just make like it worth it just being inside kind of these this whole week and just grinding up my work going for little bike rides and feeling good but yeah i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day doing some uni so let's get into it everyone always asks me if you have to be a good drawer to do my degree or they say you must be a good drawer and i'm really not like this <laughs> i mean it's going in my workbook but this is the kind of quality you're probably gonna be looking at Hello! Today is Friday. I just got back from uni and I'm about to go see my friend Annabelle. We're gonna have a picnic in the park. And I'm currently just packing up my Brisbane room. End of an era. I actually have a girl, another Irish girl, moving in on October 29th to take over my room. So I'm officially moving out of Brisbane in three weeks, which is kind of crazy. I've been living in Brisbane for three years. And it's honestly, it is such a great city. It's such a livable city. And it's gonna be really sad, but I think it's all very exciting right now. So yeah, just attempting to pack everything up and then make op shop piles. And then, yeah, I'm gonna, it's gonna start to look really bad soon.
today is Saturday the 5th of October. I have a call. I look like I've got a big egg. Um, I've got a very, very, very full car, but hopefully it's kind of one of like the second last trips that I'm going to do. And we're going to go to Noosa. short hair now I just feel like so much has happened and there's no point really <laughs> recapping it um because I couldn't even but my journal is getting a really great recap I've journaled I think too much like every morning and night for the past probably like month or two I just feel like so much is happening and good change bad change whatever change um but yeah got my mid sem break this week so I'm kind of just taking the week to chill out, not look at a Revit file, try not to do that much uni but I have a lot of things due the week I'm back next week um, as well as like draft presentations and things like that. So trying to reset as much as I can and I definitely have already. I literally got here yesterday and already went to the op shop, dropped off a bunch of um, stuff I had from Brisbane, went snorkeling with Seoul. We could hear whales when we were underwater because they were going past, which was just insane. It was so cool. And then we just lazed around. I read, I drew, I then went for a seven kilometer run walk through the park and along the beach and it was so special. And I saw like stingrays and manta rays. I don't even know if it's manta ray, but big, big stingrays. Um, yeah, it's just so beautiful here. And I'm like, oh my God, I did that all in one day. I also made the yummiest curry. I'm still recovering from a bit of a cold. I feel like everyone has got a cold lately. So I'm trying to feel completely better before I have to go back to uni. And I also made jewellery, which I haven't touched my jewellery in so long because I just genuinely haven't had time. Or like, when I have had time to rewind, I'm like, no, I just need to like, do nothing and not, you know, have another like, stress. But I made some pretty cute pieces, I think. Um, I have a pretty blue one. I don't know, some of them I was just like, ah, I don't even know anymore. This little colourful one. My like classic all beater blue. This like chunky pink one. I actually really like this one. And I got to use my beads from Bali, the ceramic handmade ones. And then another chunky blue one. Ooh. I don't really know when I'm going to be able to like sell these or do shoots for them as yeah, there's just a lot going on. I'm in my final semester of uni, which is just like insane. Um, it's exciting, it's also scary. And yeah, my plan for the end of the year, everyone's like, what are your plans for after uni? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> um, my current plan is though that I am going down to Victoria, to Barwon Heads to go do some work experience with this really great photographer who shoots a lot of the um, interior magazine covers and architecture and then I'm just kind of seeing like where that leads at right now because we've got our Christmas break but I'm also doing a online summer semester 
with uni that goes until February so that I can graduate early um, because yeah I was just like why not get it done by February and then I don't really have any plans <laughs> to be honest which everyone keeps asking me and I feel like I should be stressed but honestly I'm not I just think like sorry put the grippers up put the dogs away but um I just think instead of thinking oh my god I don't know what I'm doing like I don't have plans and I don't know what I'm doing and yeah instead of thinking about it like that I'm just thinking oh my god I don't have plans I don't know what I'm doing like yeah trying to change the tone so it's just a bit more positive but I definitely have been in both headspaces of this is really great and oh my god I need to figure out my shit um but yeah because I think when everyone asks me like what do you want to do or what do you want to be uh I want to be about 10 different things all at once um and I feel like an interior designer is really good because you have to have a knowledge of you know art and history and um fashion and really like anything creative photography which um I love anything creative so you know if I could live 20 lives that would be a photographer, an interior designer, a, an artist, a ceramicist, jewelry making, or in my own business, um, furniture designer. I just have so many interests and I think that is so good. So honestly, just while I'm this age and while the world is my oyster, I just want to keep all avenues open. So pretty much now until I graduate in February, I'm just trying to get as much work experience as I can in all different areas, all different fields, meet new people, um, try new things, which I just think is so exciting. I absolutely love trying new things, as if you couldn't tell from me going to random class pass, classes weekly. But um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. So, you know, just a... PSA for everyone who's maybe in a similar position and doesn't know what they want to be. Um, not that I've done it yet, but I feel like you don't need to have it all sorted out. And even nearing the end of your degree, if you're still like, mm, I'm not sure. I think also work experience is a really, really great way to get taste testers of jobs without, you know, you know, signing a contract and saying, yes, this is exactly what I want to do when you're not even sure. So I think... And a lot of places you go and do an internship or work experience most of the time they offer people um you know maybe a job or like extra work experience after so yeah that's kind of my plan um and we'll just see where it goes but i do feel like with my jewelry i've got to be kind of all those things where i've got to be like an artist and a photographer and creating connections and just being a creative director really um, which is so cool. So I feel like I am already living my 20 live goals, but yeah. <laughs>
and do my uni work. So I'm working on my final, pretty much my final-ish uni projects, my final interior focused uni projects and then I have the summer semester but that is just about photography and media so a bit different but yeah I'm just working on one robot file for a library to turn into an art studio with a weaving traditional weaving program really random but good morning it's currently 5 a.m. Sol and I are going for a sunrise swim at sunshine, so come on. Hopefully it's not cloudy or cold. But I feel like it might be both of those things. <laughs> Let's see if Sol work out. I meant to meet her at the car at 5.15. I think I'm kinda early. It's actually not cloudy. Let's hope that it's beautiful. We might swim. We'll see. She's awake. 